Hello, um, so I thought I'd just do a, a quick video just to um, detail some of the YouTube channels that I think are particularly uh, interesting uh, for cycling. Bit of a variation here, um, some, some, some bigger than others, some you may have heard of. I'm hoping there'll be at least be uh, one or two in here which uh, maybe you haven't. Um, I'm going to start with the biggest, um, GCN, as you can see they've just hit um, 1 million subscribers. Uh, this week. Um, I've been watching this for years when the videos were m much less professional uh, uh, than they are now and the uh, presenters certainly hadn't quite honed their uh, presenting skills uh, to the level they're at uh, now. Um, absolutely love it. The production's good, the content's good, the presenters are very good now. Um, they're all ex-pros so they all know their stuff although the content is quite often pitched quite a lot lower than that. It, it, it's pitched at Everyone, everyone really. They're 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 trying to get people into cycling and spread the word. Um, they there's a variety of, of, of video. There's tech videos. There's news, um, how to uh, videos, mechanicals, that sort of thing. Um, training videos and um, spin spin videos. If, if you're that way inclined, not not for me. Um, um, uh, and uh, they do follow the the pro races quite uh, in, in quite some some detail, and you get things like uh, reviews of riders' bikes and specialist race coverage, which you wouldn't even get on the TV. So you get a lot of um, a lot of bes bes sort of bespoke uh, bespoke videos, and also um, uh, you, they do a lot of competitions and giveaways. They don't do product reviews, but they do do unboxings and they talk about things. They would never say give their honest opinion and they are sponsored all over the place um, now because they've got, obviously got such a big big following but um, brilliant highlight of the week for me is on Tuesdays um, they do the GCN show um, and um, on, on that they do a, like a weekly roundup so there'll be a bit about racing new products that are released that week bit of everything it's usually about half an hour long and uh, yeah it's it's, uh, it's really good just quickly flick through their, their page you can see some of their their training things here really well put together just uh, not, not my kind of fun um, uh, how to mechanicals they usually come out on Monday um, and then here's some of the some of the um, features um, and you can see there's uh, professional bike right uh, bike reviews um, look into some of the detail that the, the pros have on their bikes giveaways hat and then their how to's loads of how to's on here um, like I said can be sometimes pitched a little bit really for sort of bog standard basics but uh you know i watch them all the all the, uh, nonetheless uh, you can always learn always learn something um uh, from from that you never know everything um the second one um is uh, very very small i've only been watching this chat for the last um sort of 6 weeks maybe 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 less than that um so he's pretty new he's I'm not sure how many followers he's Got subscribed, so he's got a thousand subscribers, um, 1078 subscribers. There, he does uh, a lot of reviews, some seriously long term reviews. Um, and this man just is an absolute tank, he he rides shitloads, he must do about 25,000k a year. Uh, lives out in Japan, um, rides in sort of the lots of humid, wet, hum hot, humid weather. Uh, so a lot of his reviews sort of focus on on that side of thing. He is absolutely brutal with um, his reviews. Um, he is uh, he pushes the 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 items to to their max. And if you do pass his very high standards, then um, well, you know you've you've got a good product. Very very honest. Very very blatant. Um, you, I feel you, he's a you can tell he's a clever man. I feel you can trust what. Um, he has to he has to say um next one is um Jorian Ryder uh now i was debating whether to include uh, him in in this review um because well, he's a bit of a knob uh he's obnoxious and he talks from time to time about some pseudo scientific crap which i just can't don't agree with at all um, he he does like to the sound of his own voice and repeats himself a hell of a lot um, and goes on about how ve vegan is the like drinking holy water for 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 all your life. Um, 
However, now and again, he does come out with some absolute gems, and there are some a few few bits which I've picked up over the last four or five years I've been listening to this guy, um, which I, I fully take it on board or myself. He does come up with some some really good um, good tip. Uh, good tips. You've just got to filter out him being a knob from from the quality and clickbaity videos, which is a bit uh, a bit annoying. A bit annoying. Um, take a look. Uh, he's good. He's fit. Um, if you can put up with his sort of attitude and the way he goes about his videos, uh, you will. There's, there's there's certainly stuff to be learned there. Um, and he's done all kinds of uh, riding, long distance. He, he you know, he climbs Everest. He's done a little bit, a little bit of racing, um, and you know, he, he's a good, he's a good cyclist. There's certainly stuff to to learn from from him. And you can see here, so what, what, I, what I mean by some of the the, the clickbaity videos. You know, he likes to put his girlfriend in in the, in the thumbnail. And Lance Armstrong when he was natural. You know, he, you know, he's trying to he's trying to get into click those uh, click those uh, links. But uh, there you go. Um, Next one is Cycling Maven, uh, another Australian. Uh, he started to get a real, real following in in recent months. He's got he's up to forty thousand subscribers. Polar opposite of Jordan Rider, really, really nice guy. Um, him and his uh, girlfriend feature in uh, a lot of the videos. He does vlogs a couple of times a week, and then other spe one-off special videos. Um, He's a keen rider, racing a lot of crits. I don't think he's outstanding by any means, but uh, I mean he's good uh, and uh, he puts a different take on it. It's, it's not just all about the cycling with him. He's a little bit more about the the community. Um, he did enter the um, Indy Pack, the Indian Pacific Wheel Race. So all these videos along here um, uh, are from that. So that was a race across America. Um, that was uh, f well, five thousand five hundred uh, kilometers, which was unfortunately cut short after um, Mike Hall, one of the the British um, racers, um, was hit by a car. Unfortunately, uh, passed away. Um, but uh, his coverage of that was brilliant. He did lots of live streams, just sort of sh showing what he was going through, or putting in some serious uh, serious kilometers a, a day, sort of up to three hundred, four hundred k every day for for. I think he was up to sort of 12, 13 days before the, the race was called off. And uh, last year he went to the Tour de France. Um, some nice coverage of that. Um, he, you know, he got uh, he, a bit like GCN, he got sort of behind the scenes in what you, you'd never see on, on TV. Um, him and his girlfriend have actually uh, quit their jobs and uh, they're selling their car and moving out of their house and they're travelling to Europe and they're going to the Giro, the Tour, and the Vuelta uh, this year, so they're staying over in Europe for best part of three months, um, and uh, I'm looking forward to that. It should be some good good content from them. From them, the production is always very good. He's just a top bloke. Um, definitely a good channel to keep an eye on uh, throughout the summer. Uh, another one I'd I'd really really recommend. And then uh, finally, the fifth one is a, a chap called Shane Miller. He's the third Australian. Um, uh, he's done a fair bit of racing uh, in, in his time, and actually found him when I was looking for um, turbo trainers. So he seems to sort of be the the go-to man for reviews on turbo trainers and uh, indoor in, other indoor types of tra trainer uh, rollers and things, and also the software to go along with it. So um, Training Peaks and Zwift. Um, his reviews on here are, are brilliant. Um, all kinds of stuff. Um, he also d does do the odd um, live stream uh, as well when he's got um, some, uh, something on. A particular good. Loads of videos there. Check out his tech. He, he knows his shit if it's cycling technology um, related. Um, uh, another nice chap. Um, sort of feel I can trust what he, trust what he says. Um, so I hope there was at least one channel in there which um, you weren't familiar with. I would have expect most people if you're into cycling to, to be uh, familiar with GCN. They are, are plastered all over uh, YouTube nowadays. Um, but um, if there's any more you think I've missed, uh, please comment below. Anything which you think that would be good for, for me to see that um, uh, maybe I'm not aware of yet. Um, that would be good. Love to see that. Always uh, like, uh, like finding more cycling related things to waste my time. Uh, watching um, 
as always, uh, please click the logo to subscribe, um, and uh, thanks for watching.